Hello everyone, this video is going to be about a mathematical topic regarding integer power sums. Uh, this is something we uh, come across in basic calculus. For example, the sum of i from i equals 1 to n. Well, this is a function of n, actually, and so is sum of i squared i equal 1 to n. And for those who know these formulas, know, for example, that sum from i equal 1 to n of i to the first power turns out to be n times n plus 1 over 2. Um, and then the sum of i squared, for example, is n times 2n plus 1 times n plus 1 over 6, which I think is much more difficult to remember than this one. But uh, the question that this video is going to answer is, can we find a generalized formula for sum from i equal 1 to n of i to the r, where r is any positive integer greater than or equal to 1. This is actually a very old topic. It's been around for hundreds of years. And the answer is obviously yes, there is. And there are methods, computational methods, uh, recursion relations, etc., which do allow us to be able to find such formulas. What makes the content in this video different than all other previous works is that I have invented and I'm going to show you an easy method to be able to come up with these formulas using minimal mathematical knowledge and it's a very simple and quick process but it does require time of evaluation once you set up the structure of each of these formulas as the title suggests I'm going to be using Pascal's triangle and I'm going to show you how to simply modify Pascal's triangle to be able to construct these formulas by hand. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to make a Pascal's triangle. And so I'm going to start with 1, go 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. So basically here, if those who don't know Pascal's triangle, it's an equilateral triangle. And when you write 1, that's the corner or vertice of the triangle and we write one one beneath it with a space in between them that space is directly beneath the one above it and so the same here there is a space right here between the one and the two right beneath the one above it we have one all the way on the outskirts of the triangle but in the middle we sum these two numbers to get the number beneath it Sum 1 and 3, we get 4. Sum 3 and 3, we get 6. And 4, we get 5, 10, 10. It's a symmetrical structure. So we have 6, 15, 20, and 15, and 6, and so forth. So I'm just going to stop there. And I'm going to be showing how to modify this to be what we need it to be. For those who are familiar with binomial expansion from, let's say, a pre-calculus course, where we have, let's say, ax minus by to the n, and we want to expand that, we use the coefficients from Pascal's triangle or the binomial coefficients, and we, for this particular expansion, we have a minus sign so every other coefficient is going to be a minus but we're going to keep that idea aside for right now first what I'm going to do the first modification is to convert all of these ones in this diagonal and all of these numbers in this diagonal and we're talking about for an entire Pascal triangle no matter how large you draw it how many rows it has we're going to start off with writing n because our summation formulas I, I to the R from I equal 1 to N is a function of N. So what we're first going to do is convert this to an N and this to an N. And you can imagine this being N to the first power, for example. So therefore, this is going to be increasing power. So N squared, N cubed, 
n to the fourth, and so on. We're going to do the same for this diagonal. We're going to convert these numbers into increasing powers of n. Now we apply this step. We put a negative sign on every other diagonal, starting with the second. So we would put a negative here, but we're actually not going to on this second diagonal, but this is the only exception on the entire triangle. This diagonal, therefore, is positive, but every number on here is going to be negative, and therefore for this diagonal as well. The next step is to put summations behind all of these coefficients, but these two diagonals are finished. So for example, we start with sum of i to the first power from i equal 1 to n. Or I can just remove that one and put sum of i equal 1 to n. And I do this for all of the ones on this. Then for this diagonal, I say sum of i squared. And then as it may seem, I do sum of i cubed for this diagonal, and then sum of i fourth, and then sum of i fifth. What we're going to do now is put a parenthesis before every single n on the left side and after every single summation on the right. And we're going to also put a plus sign in between every single element in this triangle. There are the parentheses and there are the plus signs. The last step is simply to put fractions at the beginning of every single row. How it works is you say 1 over row number plus 1. Since this is row 0 on the Pascal triangle, it's 1 over 1. Next is 1 over 2, then 1 over 3, and then we increase the denominator every single row so that it's just 1 over row number plus 1. So this is the finished product. We have a Pascal's triangle, which we have added in new data into, and we have added in plus signs and uh, multiplications and things like that. But we basically simply modify the Pascal's triangle to get where we are. All we have to do to find the function f of n formula for any power r in sum of i equal 1 to n of i to the r is simply to add all of the terms in every single row. Every single row will do a calculation for each and every formula. For example, 1 over 1 is 1 times n is n, which is the same as the sum of 1 times i equal 1 to n. Because the sum is just simply n times 1, which is n. For this we have 1 half of n squared plus n, which can be factored to n times n plus 1 over 2. So we have sum of i, i equal 1 to n. We have sum of i squared and all the way down, just increase the power. And also, of course, to make this complete, I'll just put equal signs in front of every one of these summations. So for example, what this is telling us, if we want to find, let's say, sum of i to the fourth power. This is telling us that sum of i to the fourth power from i equal 1 to n is equal to 1 fifth times n to the fifth power plus n to the fourth power plus 6 times the sum of i cubed. Well, we know what sum of i cubed is. Sum of i cubed, if we recall from our calculus course, is n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. And then minus 4 times the sum of i squared from i equal 1 to n. We know that is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6 plus the sum of i from i equal 1 to n, which of course we know is n times n plus 1 over 2. And that is the answer. Of course, we can algebraically simplify this, but that would be a good exercise to do. But instead, what I'm going to do is show you how to express this Pascal's triangle that I've made as an explicit closed formula.